What's going on, party people? My name is Solomon. I am an artist, and thus I go by Solomon the Artiste. This video is long overdue. First of all, you probably noticed. First of all, if you're watching the video, thank you so much, because I know I don't have that many followers per se, <laughs> that many subscribers, and that's probably because I don't stay consistent with my uploads. But if you're here because you're subscribed, I thank you and I cherish you. Um, you probably noticed, you should notice that my background's completely different. You know, I got a completely white background, like most fancy YouTubers. But that's not because I'm trying to be a fancy YouTuber. I just have a white wall and figured, why not? Nah, <laughs> but seriously, um, the difference in background is really because I have moved. I changed coast, you know? This born and raised diehard New Yorker actually made his way to LA and I am happy. I'm not gonna lie, I never thought. I always felt like LA would be the place that I would go to um, to get a break from New York, never the place that I'd move to for any reason, regardless of my artistry and acting and or singing. But I soon realized the move was necessary and so I did it, and here I am, enjoying myself. I've been here for almost two weeks. I really planned on doing a video as soon as I got here, but I had to get here and immediately start going on auditions and all that good stuff. You know, I got a like job hunt and everything, and it's just been nonstop, so I haven't had the opportunity to really focus, buckle down and focus on my YouTube videos like I really want and planned to. But um, I got time now, and even though I'm afraid to say I'm gonna be more consistent now, because you know I feel like every time I say that in a video, that's never the case. I feel like now I genuinely have time. You know, I am not in a household where there's always something for me to do, or something that someone needs me to do, or some um, task that needs to be taken care of. You know, I am. It's just me. I hope y'all didn't see that. I got a fly trying to be disrespectful and get a cameo. In any case, <laughs> um, whilst I've been out here though, I've really had the chance to focus on me, focus on my music, focus on my acting. Like I said, I've been doing nonstop auditions. I've been doing nonstop covers. You know, if you follow my Instagram, Solomon the Artiste is the handle. Go ahead and follow if you're not. I guarantee you'll really enjoy it. I've been doing cover after cover after cover literally every day posting a cover and it's been a tremendous experience you know i have always known that social media is important to the artists especially in this day and age but i've never really been one to want to constantly have to be posting like i feel like that takes away from the authenticity of the craft however I've been spending time creating covers because I have time now, you know, and because I have the covers created and I have something to share, it's been a lot easier and, dare I say, desirable that I share these covers and create these little cover music videos and whatnot. And I guess now because I had the time to do it and I don't have to like find a pocket of time somewhere to be my artistic self i just it just feels natural it doesn't feel like a task it doesn't feel like work it feels like i'm just doing what i do when i do it how i want to do it because i can and that's really the case you know i have no idea what this video is supposed to be i just really wanted to create something that says hey i'm here i'm back i got time you know um i a lot is changing for me while i'm out here I feel a lot more confident, you know, not that I wasn't confident in my abilities and my craft to begin with, but there's a certain, I hate to admit it because I love my, my, my New York, but there's a certain stifledness or something that exists for me, at least in New York, you know, and a part of the reason that I wanted to, 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 to dip my toe in the LA water for quite some time for some years but I was always reluctant because I felt like New York is where I need to be I was already born in 
one of the most artistic cities in the world. And on top of that, I love musical theater. I'm good at it, you know? So this is obviously where I'm meant to be. And I just kept fighting, you know? Everybody knows that I love the Lord and I've had my, my back and forth with the Lord. You know, he made it very obvious that I needed to move elsewhere. And I kept thinking like, well, if I could just make this happen in New York, you know, he'll change his mind, you know, and the Lord doesn't work like that. When the Lord tells you he needs you to do something for your good, just do it, you know? And that's what I'm finding to be the case out here. I am just experiencing nothing but goodness. And it's so crazy, like even working with, um, with uh, my producer friend who creates amazing music, amazing beats, amazing um, compositions and what have, what have you. It's so crazy. In New York, I could never find the time to go and record in the way that I wanted to. But now that I'm here, well, technically I did record my vocals and everything in New York, but even recording them, I didn't have the time to um, send the vocals to him like I wanted to. And it's like now, you know, like I didn't have the chance to send him the vocals until I was here, really. You know, I had nothing but time to to um, to just get things done, basically, you know? And it's like so crazy that I have to, that I had to pull myself so far away from home, from the life that I'm used to and everything in order to get everything that I need to get done, done, you know? Um, yeah, so I haven't gone out as much as I would like to. I'm not really an, a, a go out type of dude, to be honest, but here in LA, you know, you've got to show your face. You got to make your name known, you know, but I haven't been going out as much because I don't want to waste my money. You know, I'm not making money. Yet I've got a cushion. I worked hard before I moved to LA to make sure that I have a cushion that I can be comfortable with, you know, to be ensure that I could like pay my rent and all that good stuff. Um, but still, I haven't found a job as of yet. I've been, I kind of feel like I want to just go into, um, I kind of feel like I know where I should go because it's convenient in a lot of ways. But I'm still trying to hold off. I want that, I'm holding that as my last resort because it's just, there i know that it will be there no matter what but um yeah i feel like i'm just kind of talking in circles now <laughs> but um yeah and it's so i guess that's pretty much it i just wanted to say hey i'm alive i'm here i'm working i'm doing what i gotta do and i um again if you're you know, a subscriber, you probably noticed that I've been posting, um, posting covers, those covers that you see on YouTube, those are the covers I've been posting on Instagram and on Facebook and everything, you know, I've been making myself very, um, vivid on social media and it's been working to my advantage tremendously. I've garnered a great deal of, um, followers in the past week and a half just by putting up my covers and um and it's interesting i actually i was maybe i summoned it or something i don't know but like i was thinking like i was really surprised that um i didn't get any hate as of yet and then sure enough today i got some hate message from some random dude but usually when i get the hate messages somebody trying to be disrespectful or rude or whatever it's usually from from a kid, and when I say kid, I mean someone who's like anywhere from probably 14 to 18, 19 even, you know? Someone who's young or at least definitely young-minded. And so it doesn't really, you know, affect me in that matter because I understand kids are kids and yada, yada, yada. And then the thing is too that I love, anyone who knows me knows that I love 90s music. I love that grown, mature, but you know, make you feel something, make you bounce type of music, you know? That's me all day. And a lot of the songs that I that are on the radio today, I don't love because they don't have any like soul, they don't have any structure, they don't have any real lyrics, you know? 
But lately there are a lot of songs that have great melodies that do have, um, that are clearly influenced by the music that I love. And because I hear that influence, I have this natural desire and instinct to sort of mesh that song, today's lyrics, with a vibe or an instrumental or something from the 90s or whatever. And so that's what I've been doing. That's um, my niche with my covers. I sort of create a, a mashup of songs that had nothing to do, nothing to do with each other for the most part, you know? And so um, some kids might not understand the cover, might not understand the mashup, um, might not receive it well, and that's okay, you know? So, what else do I wanna say? I am just here, I'm loving it, I'm excited, I'm, things are coming together, like, it's just been pretty dope, you know? Everything hasn't been perfect, you know? Um, uh, and and it, it's, it's, you're, you're an artist transitioning, you know, you're a starving, struggling artist trying to transition into a new state, a new coast, and find your find your 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 footing, and still fulfill your artistic endeavors. You know, it's not perfect. It's not because it's not easy, is what I'm trying to say. But it's fun, and a lot of people might think that I'd be doing this late in my life. Even I thought it at one point, but I realized, you know, I just wasn't ready until now. You know, as much as I had the desire to make such a move, I didn't have the strength or probably not even the confidence to make Z move until now. And so now I have, and I am happy and ready to take over. But um, my battery is about to die, I see. So I'm gonna end this here. Thank you so much for watching and you should absolutely, yes, look forward to more videos from me, both me just speaking to you, telling you about life and music. So with that being said, thank you for watching and God bless.